Hey guys, it is Mike. Um, I'm going to do two different videos for this. Uh, one's a haul, and then one is a mail pickup. Um, basically, I went to a couple yard sales this weekend, didn't find too much. Um, I picked up some stuff from Best Buy. I had actually ordered a movie from Best Buy, um, and then while I was there, I just picked up a couple other things, and then Big Lots. So got quite a bit of big bots. Um, normally I, I don't find anything, but found a few things. So my my um, garage sale finds were simple. Um, a Christmas movie called Christmas Do-Over with uh, Jay Moore and Daphne Zuniga. Uh, I like Jay Moore quite a bit. He's quite a character, so I don't know what's going on with my hair. It looks so orange, but uh, anywho, that was one thing that I got. I got this. This was one of my all-time favorite movies when I was younger. Uh, batteries not included. I don't know if you can get this on Blu-ray or not. I need to check into that. But I always thought this was such a sweet little movie. And then the other um, movie I got was Arthur's Christmas. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen this, but it looked cute. And I do collect Christmas movies as well as you know, pretty much everything else. So. Yeah, it's even got a little bit of artwork on the disc, so yeah, cute. All right, Best Buy. The whole reason I went to Best Buy is because I ordered the uh, new Field of Dreams um, steelbook. Um, it's 4K. I'll probably never have a 4K player, but who knows. Um, but it does have Blu-ray, and it does have digital, which I'll give away. Um, so, yeah, Field of Dreams. Kevin Costner was my guy back in, in his day. Um, I always enjoy. I loved Dances with Wolves. Uh, I pretty much liked every movie he did. Um, and I even liked Waterworld and Postman, which got a lot of grief. He just doesn't do a whole lot anymore. Um, so I have a pretty little, a decent collection of his movies. I just um, you know, wanted to get this. I had this on DVD forever. Uh, but yeah, if, if you have not ever seen Field of Dreams, this is a really fun movie. It, um, of course, Edward, I can never say his name. Um, you know, Darth Vader is in, <laughs> the voice of Darth Vader. What is his name? Um, is in it. Uh, he plays a pretty decent role. Ray Liotta is in James Earl Jones. Okay, gosh. Um, I couldn't remember that name to save my life. But yeah, it's a good movie. Basically, he builds a um, baseball field out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, in one of those states that people fly over. Um, so, uh, you know, he's told, build it and they will come. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a fun movie. The other thing I picked up was his um, Dances with Wolves. This is also a steel book. Uh, it was on sale for like ten bucks. Um, and I don't know if it was a mistake, because when I took it off the shelf, it said twenty. But when it rang out, it was only ten. So I don't know. But yeah, I'm excited to, to uh, trade out my DVD for that as well. And then a couple of movies um, that just hold nostalgia for me that I picked up that I used to have in my collection, but I don't anymore. Um, one of them being Pretty Woman. And this may be a, available on Blu-ray, but I don't, I don't really care. Um, this movie reminds me a lot of my niece Amanda. Um, she just... For some reason, she fell in love with this movie. She had no idea what, when she was younger, what it was all about. She, it just, I never saw a little kid be moved by a movie, and this movie just brought her to tears the first. Yeah, I'm, I mean, almost every time she watched it. So, um, and I like Julia Roberts, and and I like Richard Gere. So I went ahead and picked that up. It was four, three bucks, like four bucks. I don't know, nothing. And then another one is um, Robin Williams Flubber. Uh, this was one of those movies that I had, um, and when I left teaching, um, I left all my movies behind for my uh, co-workers, and this was one of them that I left behind, so I am glad to have this back in my collection. Um, I may upgrade to a Blu-ray one day, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right, so my Big Lots haul was a little big, bigger. Um, these were all three bucks, uh, with the exception of two of the Blu-rays that I picked up were five. Um, 
So, yeah, I didn't go over budget. Now, I know y'all are going to be surprised because you know I don't like zombie movies. Um, but I did because I always hear about how great um, Army of Darkness is and all these Army of Darknesses. So I'm going to try to watch it. Um, maybe, you know, maybe my taste would change. Um, you know, I, I didn't like zombies when I was younger. Maybe I'll like them now. I don't know. Um, let's see. And I also picked up Smiley. Um, I've seen this a thousand times. I have no idea what it's about. But I have seen this um, on various websites for sale. Uh, this was three bucks, so I thought, well, for three bucks I can watch it, and if I don't like it, I can sell for two. Uh, I also picked up um, a non-horror. Uh, I don't know, do you guys remember Flash Gordon? This was a big deal. Um, when I was young. I remember when this first came out, um, it, everybody, it was all the rage there for about 10 minutes, and then I don't know if it didn't do that great at the box office, I can't remember. But I know the guy who stars in it, Stan, Sam Jones, um, he was quite controversial because he had actually posed nude for, for a women's magazine, so um, it was a big brouhaha there for about a minute. Uh, I also picked up King Kong, I don't, I've never owned this. Um, I love it. I've watched it. I used to watch it as a kid. It was one of my creature feature movies, uh, but I never did buy it. Uh, I don't have any of the King Kongs, so, which is kind of strange because I like the one with Jessica Lange and I like the one with uh, Naomi Watts, but I just never picked them up. So, three bucks, why not? Um, and then I picked up, I don't know if this is any good. Uh, it has Aaron Eckhart in it and I like him. Um, but it's called the Incarnate, or Incarnate, and this is a Blu-ray with a slipcover, and a digital, and it was three bucks. How could I pass that up? I, I, I could pass it up, trust me, my wallet tells me that I could pass it up. Um, I also picked up the Bye Bye Man. Um, I've never heard anything good about this until, um, I think it was the last Shoegazer, um, did a review on it. He's not, he's got an awesome channel, by the way. So, uh, if you if you're not subscribed to him, he is the, the Lost Shoegazer, and he does really good um, reviews and haul videos and all that good stuff. So, great guy. Really enjoy him. He's got a great voice too, and he's a form and he's a teacher. So, I have a little bit of a soft spot for him. And then I picked up Apollo 13. Eh, I. I Loved this movie when it came out. Um, this actually came out the year my mom died. And I went and saw this with uh, my sister and my brother-in-law in Pennsylvania. So it holds it holds a, a soft spot in my heart. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of Tom Hanks. I, I mean, he's okay. I like him. But the other two guys I love. So I'm sure I'll... I, you know, I liked the movie when it came out. I just haven't watched it in a million years. And it was three bucks. And then the last movie that I picked up, and I want to say I got it at Target, but I've had it for a while and I tucked it up on a shelf and just kind of forgot about it. It's called The Quake. It has that really cool slip cover. So, yeah. I love it. I love any kind of earthquake movie. So I'm looking forward to that. So that was my little uh, shopping haul. Um, I went to some of the Dollar Trees because, you know, they allegedly have some stuff out, but I didn't find anything really. Um, they didn't have too many in either one of the uh, Dollar Trees that are here in uh, Savannah. I did not go out to the farthest one out. Uh, they're bigger. They may have some stuff, but I may do that tomorrow on my way home from a site visit. I don't know. But that's it. That is the pickups that I that I did this weekend, and then I have a little mail video that I'm going to do in just a minute. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.